Hey guys, it's Watchers, you're one and only, my name is AJ, and my pad is lazing to the right like it always is. We are back in another episode of Let's Build a Game Show. First episode, we built this at our first little quiz room here, which I'm, I'm really proud of, actually. It looks pretty good. I've got the redstone doors hooked up now. So, uh, the doors open and close with this. Uh, I've put a pool down the bottom here because this is where people are going to spawn. This is a spawn area. Uh, I need a test to make sure that people actually do spawn here and not on the outside. But I'm pretty sure I've actually done it big enough now so that they just spawn in here. It's very, very basic. Um, it doesn't really need to be anything fancy, does it? It goes with our same theme, though, the red, blue, and the quartz uh, together. And then you can fall down here and you'll be absolutely fine. Because in the new update, by the way, if you don't know, guys, uh, in the TU-16, you can now fall into a one block deep uh, water. As long as you hold A, uh, you'll actually like float before you hit the ground. So that can be quite handy. You could do it sometimes on previous updates. Uh, but it was very, very dodgy. But now it's actually, actually properly done. And I've got like a little bit of a, like a shoot, a little tube coming through from this round to get past the redstone, uh, where we can now start the second round. Now the second round, I've actually got uh, an idea for, and I think it's pretty damn cool. Oh, by the way, you can't see any of the outside, no matter where you are, which is quite cool. Like from in here, you can't like jump and see over the redstone and stuff like that. So you'll only see what we want. The players to see you won't see all this redstone stuff even though it is quite compact and it is a little bit pretty really it's not that bad looking but this episode i think we're going to build like sort of like a mouse trap crossed with a maze crossed with a sort of level on portal 2 if any of you played portal 2 you'll know what i sort of mean uh but we're not going to have any pistons and stuff involved it's just going to be a sort of walky roundy bit but it's going to be pretty funny now the idea of it is let's just do it. I don't know how far out I want to do it. Let's um, let's do it like here. That'd be about right, and then that'll be like on this level on this side. But we'll work on one level first. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have like a ladder that goes up, like so, like a ladder that goes up and into an area just tall enough for you to get through. And then it's sort of gonna be like a maze, but a vertical maze, and you have to sort of find your way around it. And I think it's going to be pretty fun. I think it's going to be pretty cool. So we can have like a bottom here. Now it's going to take a little bit of working out. Because we obviously need one block wide for you to fall down. Uh, but two blocks high for you to walk along. You see. So we can have three ways here. We can have going straight across. We can have going down. And we'll have going up as well. Now to get up uh, might require some parkour. And you might actually. We're not going to actually be able to get up there on the first go so like like from here we won't be able to get up there you can't jump two blocks high and there's no spaces to put ladders on this side but here we can put this like this so you can actually get back up to jump across now it's very difficult it's not easy to jump across there uh, but there is a ladder there so you can like retry if you need to okay so now we've got that let's have a way that you can go up to this level like this and, uh, yeah, I saw this on Portal, and you needed two people. You needed one person to move, like, pistons up and down to get across. Maybe we can do the same thing with some pressure plates in some places. I'm not sure. It depends on what we sort of feel like at the time. Um, but I don't really know a layout. I should have drew, drew out a layout first before trying this, but I think we'll be okay. So we can have that way. Now, can if we put ladders here, can we actually, like, make our way up there? Whoops. Make our way up there from down here. What do you reckon? Do you reckon it's possible? I think it might be. Huh, I keep bashing my head though. Mm, it might not be. Oh no, I, I was flying then. I don't know. What if I take that one away? If I take that one away, it should be possible now, shouldn't it? Or does it need to be... Yeah, it can, right. So we can take some stuff away if we need to. Um, hmm... Okay, let me do a little bit of work and work out a little bit of a map and I shall be right back. Okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it looks like I've got a test subject. He's found his way on there. I've done a little bit. I haven't done too much. Uh, it's it's coming on though. You can either go straight forward, then up, then round, and up around the top. Or you can come down the middle then, or you can go straight down and cut along the bottom here. I want a dead end though, because it's very easy to get yourself a little bit disorientated, not really know which way you're facing, and that's the sort of thing I want to. Originally, I was going to have like um, red blocks on this side and glass on this side, so you could see where your opponent is. And I might do that, or I might just have little windows in places where you can see out. I think if we have it completely blocked off, it might be better. 
uh, apart from a couple of windows to see out because you won't know which way you're facing. After a while, you might get a little bit discombobulated. And I think that'd be really, really funny and really, really hard uh, if we do it that way. Now, I'm going to actually have a dead end here just to throw people off because otherwise you've got to go like down along the bottom, which uh, is going to be very, very easy to do. But I think so far you should be able to access everywhere. It's just <laughs> difficult to make sure that you can actually get everywhere and that you're not sort of making it impossibly difficult. Uh, it's a very unique sort of puzzle though. Now I think we can get onto there. Ugh. We can get onto here from down here, can't we? Steady. Yeah, we can. Okay. It's tr tricky, isn't it? Very tricky. Um, so we've got two different ways we can go now. We'll have this way. We'll lead down. Let's just have some quartz along the bottom here. Like so. And this way we'll lead down. Like so. And across. Oh, and let's have it straight back up again. To about there. So we need some ladders on that side. We need some ladders on that side. Any more ladders anywhere? I don't think so. I think we're good. So, like, no matter what way you go, you can eventually get to the end. But it's sort of figuring out what's the quickest way to get there. And then we'll build exactly the same thing on this side. Uh, yeah. Maybe I will have it completely glass, in fact. Because if the host... The host is going to walk down the middle here. And he needs to see where both people are, you see. So, yeah, I think it is going to have to be glass, I'm afraid. Maybe I'll have some blacked out spots or something. I don't know. Hmm. have to think about it. So I want it to be a little bit tricky in some places. Okay, let's have this going along the top here. Let's work on this top rail. Um, uh, how are we going to do this? How do we want to do this? We can have it come across here. Down. Like this. Have a bit of ladder in there. We don't need a ladder there, but it's just to sort of keep the flow of the look going. Like this. And... Let's have one going up. Hup, up, up, up. Uh, can we backtrack on ourselves? Not very easily. I don't want to go any higher than that, really. It's going to make things a little bit more tricky otherwise, isn't it? Okay, let me go a little bit further, and uh, I shall see where we get. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, and we've got two of the identical mazes in here now. And uh, I think they look pretty cool, but what I wanted to do is actually to come round to the front a little bit. Maybe like a, a straight sprint to the end. We haven't got much room here, but maybe we can do like a little tiny maze here or something like that. Uh, like this way, and then here. And then if we have it absolutely identical, um, I don't know, just like a straight up and down. It's just speed, you see. That's the... That's the thing that I want on this challenge, is it's just a, a real grinding speed challenge all the way to the finish. Let's have that there. And then that down here. So we've got that way, it goes up. Oh, no, wait a minute. Um, hmm, let's have a dead end here just to throw people off. I think that'd be quite funny. If people go wrong there, then they're screwed. <laughs> then we go up here. Um, hmm, how do I want to do this ladder? We'd have it that way, and then that way. That would probably be the best way to do it, wouldn't it? That way, and that way, up to the top here, and then straight down here. Aha, uh -huh. like that. Let's fill this in. We don't need this to be open. Okay, I'm getting the idea now, guys. Getting the idea. And then the finish is going to be right here. So we can fill this middle one in as well. We'll put colours in here afterwards like we always do. And let's just put ladders in here as well just to finish it off. We're not going to need ladders there, but it's always nice to have them. Okay, yeah. And then the finish is right here. Let me just put an iron door in so I remember it's there. Aha! I like this challenge. This is going to be a fun one to do. How do you think? What do you think of this, huh? Like a 3D puzzle. Yes. Definitely. 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 Okay. Ooh, and a ladder on the front here we need. Okay. Let's have a go at it then. Let's um go down first, shall we? Uh, let's go down. Get out of the way, sheep. Now, this is a little bit more difficult at the moment because we haven't actually got uh, any sides on. So I'm sort of... <sighs> yeah, like that, you see. <laughs> Where's the edge? There it is. 
This is what makes it... Oh, we're right at the beginning. I didn't realise that. Alright, we're going this way. Yeah, steady. Once we've actually got walls in, it'll be a lot easier. Because actually trying to walk up ladders and turn around and stuff can be very, very tricky. Now, it's not the hardest puzzle in the world. I do know that. Uh, but I'm not here to build it, make it difficult for people. I'm just here for it to be fun. Uh, and it to be like a race. Uh, oh, no. I fell into one of my own traps. Okay, we need to go there. Uh-huh. Oh, we'll turn around. Go up here. Over here. Uh, got it. Down here. This way. Down here. This way. Up. It's actually longer than I thought. I know I've done it wrong, but... <laughs> there we go. Uh, there. And then we've got to go up, because down is a trap. And then we go down here. To the finish. And that's going to be a pretty cool race. And I think if we have glass all the way around it, you're going to be able to see the opposition. Which is going to make it really, really difficult. Okay, um... I'm just going to fill the colours in on the side here. I'll just do, um, what side is red? Red's on this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put red along here. And then blue along the other side. Just in the places where people are going to be standing. So on one side you're going to have your team colour. Oh, hiccups. And on the other side you're going to have glass. So let me do this and I should be right back again. Alright, this is looking pretty cool now. But when I was doing that I've just come across... Or just thought of a really, really cool idea. And it involves having two doors. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this door out here. Like this. And take this door out here. And we're going to put one nope, one door there. And one door there, right? And then this will just be uh, blocked up in the middle here like this. That keeps them separate as well, right? And then somewhere we'll put a lever on each side. Now it has to be on the same side, obviously, for um, fairness reasons. Uh, but we're going to have a lever on each side. So they actually have to get to the lever first. And then get to the end. And I think... I don't know where the best place for the lever would be. Um, I don't know. Something like right here. That would be a pretty good place, wouldn't it? Like a lever there. And they have to flick that lever first to open the door. So even if they get to the end... Uh, they actually have to go back and find the lever. So they might miss it. I don't know. You can see, because obviously this is going to be glass on either side. So you are going to be able to see where the opponent's one is. Um, and you're going to know that's roughly where yours is going to be. So, yeah, I think it's going to be pretty cool. I think it's a pretty good addition to it, though. And obviously the redstone for this is going to be extraordinarily easy. I'll just poke a hole out there so we know exactly where it is. Um, okay, uh, let's just have this. Like this. And then we'll run the redstone lead around. Very, very simple. Like this. Uh, we need to go down here. Uh -huh. Not the cleanest redstone in the world. I know, I know, I know. I'm just doing it for simplicity so you guys can follow along. If uh, some of you aren't the most redstone uh, equipped people. Uh, right, now this door, we're going to have to knock that one out. And that one out just to make things easy. Get a redstone torch. Uh, boop. Shouldn't that have fired that door? Oh. It's on this block. That's why. Ah, that's even better then. We can take this back and put that back. Put it there. There we go. It's good to say. I thought, why, why weren't that firing? Along here. Along here. Okay. And that'll do now. For now. Uh, I don't need no, <laughs> no complicated redstone. Keep it nice and simple. Ah, uh, no. Uh, uh. Redstone lead comes back up here. We're going to need a repeater at some point, I expect. This looks a little bit too far. We'll have a go. It might it might be close enough. No, we need a little bit of redstone repeatering in right there. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So, we get the lever. Perfect. That's pretty cool. I like that one. I like that one. I was thinking about having some rounds. In fact, I want to flip that around. I'd rather have it that way. There we go. Now the switch is inverted, so when it's down, it's open. I don't like it when people have it when the door's open and the lever's up. You know, it's not, not like a light switch, is it? You know, I like lever up being off, lever down being on. It's just like a universal way. Okay, we'll do the other one later. That's pretty damn cool. I like this. So, so we can just hook up these tubes straight into here and straight into there. We also need a host door as well. Because at the moment, I haven't got really any way for the host to get from there 
over there. Because um, obviously he's probably going to be in host privileges mode so he can fly. So he could just fly about. But we are going to need like some sort of exit or something to get in there. Maybe if we have like a little hole where only the host can actually fly up and out of. That could probably be the best way to do it I think. Yeah I think that is the best way to do it actually. Okay so let's get the glass in. Now do we want the glass to be completely over it all like this? Let me just do a couple of rows. Let's see what e both ways look like. So we can have it like this. Or we can have some quartz. Ah, quartz. In here like this. Now what way looks better? I think the quartz along the edge and the glass in the middle looks better. Don't you? I think so, yeah. And we are going to have to have some... Uh, glowstone in here though as well or some sort of lighting because I think at night time that's going to be pretty dark uh, in there so we'll have to figure out some some ways of lighting it up. Okay uh, I don't think there's any point in me showing you how to place glass down. It's exactly the same as what I've done with the blue. Uh, I should be right back and I might even do the redstone on that side as well for that door. Alright I'm back and I filled it and it's looking really nice and thick now looking like a proper proper room but I've just come up with a really really cool idea that we might it might work I haven't tried it yet but it might work and it involves redstone lamps and pressure plates right and if we have p pressure plates along here and then lights along here when people walk along you can see where they are so we can actually block this completely off so they can't see each other and they don't know what way they're going they don't know what way they're facing but the host in the middle is going to know which way they're going because uh, they'll know where they're standing on the pressure plates. I think that's going to be so, so cool. Yeah, definitely. So we can have like redstone lamps along the bottoms of things and then like the red colour and the blue along the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that'll give light on the inside as well. Obviously, we're going to be playing this in peaceful mode, so no mobs are going to be spawning anyway. Uh, but that's pretty cool. Let me do this side and then we'll put a few mobs in or something and, uh, and see how we go. Alright, I'll be two seconds, guys. I'm really excited now. Okay, so we're ready for our first test here. I'm going to put some pigs in. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I don't know. They won't move anywhere, really, I don't think, because uh, obviously there's nothing really to, for them to move for. But we'll be able to see roughly where people are. Uh, we're not going to be able to tell where they are all the time because obviously nothing is going to be on when they're climbing ladders. But we will be able to see some like lights move now and again. I think that, that's going to be really, really cool. And then what we'll do is we'll have glass down the front here. Because uh, obviously this is at the end. And once they get here, they know that they're at the end. So uh, we can have glass there to see people coming down. That pig's jumping off. Yeah, see that pig's moved. That's pretty cool. I really, really like this idea. I want to kill those pigs off though before we... Seal it up. <laughs> Otherwise, it's going to confuse us all. Die. No. Die, pig. Need some red wool. Uh, uh, uh. And where's you? You are... Careful. Gotcha. Careful. Gotcha. Nailed it. <laughs> okay, guys. All right. Let me uh, let me fill the rest of it in and do it on that side as well. And we should be right back. Ha, 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 ha. There we go. It's all the colours all in. I think it looks really, really cool from the inside. It was just night time as well. It's a little bit dark on the walls, but I like that because when the people go through, it's going to light up a lot more. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep it how it is with the lighting uh, exactly like this. Uh, and then all we've got to do now is sort of just hook up these to these channels to the correct pods. And uh, then it's the second room completed as well and all tied into the first. We've got the number two on the ground there. Um, I've only done that two, three, three blocks wide and this one's five blocks wide. Um... I couldn't figure out how to do a two, only three blocks wide. It didn't look very good. Uh, it looked like a Z more than anything like that. But we've got the roof in there. It's got a nice amount of detail. We don't really need any more detail in this room than what it is. It's sort of the whole room is about having the flat walls to be able to walk through and stuff like that. But I tell you something, uh, I've got all the lever hooked up and everything like that. But it's actually really difficult. After a while, it's hard to know which way you're facing. Um, we've got to find this even because it's all like lit up um, and then it goes dark sometimes it goes pitch black in some places like here like you have no idea now this is that dead end isn't it yeah and it, it's difficult this is a difficult 
maze a lot harder than what I actually thought it was going to be at first. Uh, we still haven't found the lever yet. I think the lever's this way. If I'm even facing the right way anymore. Is the lever here? Nope. How about the beginning? God damn it! <laughs> this is hard. This is really, really hard. Is this the dead end? Yeah, that's the dead end again. Yeah, this is really, really hard. We've got to just get enough light to be able to see where the lever might be. Is it down here? Yes. Okay, there's the lever. Reminds me of Tomb Raider for some reason. Let me find a light. Yeah, reminds me of Tomb Raider. I'm not really sure why. It just does. Right, and then obviously the end has got to be this way somewhere. Like so. No, that's the beginning again. <laughs> I can't believe I've turned myself around. Did you guys know I turned myself around like that? I didn't realise. Okay, we've got the door open though. This is a lot harder than I thought. Okay, it's got to be this way. It's got to be this way. Aha, here's the corner. Ah, we need to fill that corner in as well. With some... I might as well just do red wool. Nah, quartz blocks. Like this. Ah, I remember doing that on the other side as well. Yeah, that's better. Okay, then we're going around here. And then we're into the glass bit, so we know we're at the end there. Maybe have a sneaky look to see where they are. And boom, we go through the door. Excellent. What a fantastic round. I'm I'm pleased with uh with this one. I really like this one. Both the rounds now I am I'm happy with. So uh, that's that's something that uh something that's good. Oh yeah, just need to do this corner. Uh, uh get in here. Where was it? It was up the top here, wasn't it? Was this it? No, that wasn't it. Oh god damn it, now I need to find it all. And it go backwards through the maze now. Uh, that, and that. Um, I was here, yeah. Okay, it was all filled in on this side. Absolutely fine, no problem. Okay then, guys. Well, oh, God damn it. We're going to leave it there. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. If you've got any ideas for any rounds that you want to have in this sort of game show world, uh, then tell me in the comment section below. Tell me in as much detail as possible so I know what you're talking about. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to understand uh, what you mean. And uh, yeah, I'll see what we can do. I like this. Round two completed. Bye!